Here's an interesting thing to ponder. They recently did a poll on which champion needed to be updated, and Kamala Khan was on the list, so how does she compare to another recently updated champion, She-Hulk? So let's take an actual look at how Kamala Khan actually is. So recently they did a poll on who needed to be updated, one of the older champs, and most likely it's going to be Colossus, but it's possible they'll introduce a second one also. So let's see if she actually needs one. First of all, her synergies, they're kind of outdated. They're the old style where they had power gains, health gains, attack gains, that sort of things. As far as abilities, um, she has great block proficiency. She has constant ways to gain furies, which are actually pretty decent. And she can also remove armor buffs from the opponent. Um, some of her furies are permanent and some of them are temporary. Uh, but overall, she's just out there to do damage. Now, I'm going to compare her to She-Hulk, who was recently updated, uh, and kind of see <clears throat> maybe where they might go with it. Now, they're both, po they're both poison immune, so when it comes to comparing them, you're really talking about their attack style and maybe the damage output. Um, She-Hulk here, as far as her synergies, the only thing they really updated was her synergies with the Hulk. It, uh, it affects both her and the Hulks themselves, so they're unique synergies now. Um, as far as her ability upgrades, they did pretty good. The Siding Precedent didn't really change too much, but um, they added to her other abilities. The main thing is that she constantly gains uh, Furies, passive Furies, um, and also if, <clears throat> if she has several of those, it taunts the special one out of the opponent and refreshes them. Um, and they also gave her a nice unstoppable removal ability, which is, which is quite good. Um, overall, they did a very good job on that update. Lots of people I see ranking her up. But let's actually do a real comparison to an old champion that was updated to Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, who is kind of on the block. Let's get down to some actual battles. I picked a few out of here uh, to kind of show showcase their synergies as well as how they are kind of relative to each other. This first one is Captain America. This was the May event quest. This is epic mode. This is She-Hulk with her synergies, pretty much the ones that made the most sense to use on a quest team, even if you wouldn't normally use those champions. So her fighting style is, is pretty straightforward. Um, if you don't have to use her special um, unblockable breaking ability, if you're not into using that, then basically what you want to do is parry and combo. Parry combo, parry bash, heavy, whatever. Um, and you try to basically want to get those furies stacked and start taunting their specials and stacking even further. So here we are, Captain America. There's my first fury, passive fury. I'm going to try and get a few of them here. Dodge that attack. We've got two now, three. So you can see the damage is ramping up. Four, and that one's over. So 36 hits to beat this epic mode Captain America. Let's take a look at Kamala Khan. Now these are with most of her synergies as well. I don't have the Nick Fury one, but let's just assume that it's that it's not important for this study. So her fighting style is you want to get those long furies up as fast as you can. You do that by charging your heavy, and that's really helpful as long as you can stun the opponent. So right now I'm at three, which has effectively doubled her attack. Um, you can see she's landing some pretty massive hits. Um, the typical play style would be you would want to fire her special three, and then special two, and then special one in that order. That's going to give you the most damage output and the most uh, fury stacks at once. So you can see 13 hits to kill the same opponent compared to She-Hulk, who was updated, taking 36 hits. Pretty decent as it is. I would, I would like to see if they updated her, how much better could it actually be? Um, another shot I want to show you here. This is the Thanos, or excuse me, the Save the Battle Battle Realm quest. Um, again, I'm going to show you the same synergy team with She-Hulk. We're just going to go fight this storm here in the beginning. Um, and same same battle tactics as we used before. I got my first combo in there, but you're basically going to try to parry and throw your combos and hope you're kind of waiting on that random number generator to give you enough furies to really stack it up and ramp it up and get a lot of damage. So here we go, we're getting our hits in here. Kind of bait out a special if we can. You don't want to eat too many of these, especially if you're trying to gain power. And there it is. So we're 23 hit, 24. Um, she also does put Petrify and Slow on the opponent, which is good to help reduce their um, effectiveness. Now I've got some stacking up here. Two Furies, three Furies. All right, starting to get there. Three, four. There you go, not too bad. I let a couple of them expire, but you can see that this epic fight took 48 hits to get it done. And that was with the updated She-Hulk. Kind of a shorter battle, so that's what we're evaluating here. 
Um, now, Kamala Khan with the same synergies I used, I used before with Captain America, but let's see how she does in the same fight. And I know that they're gonna fare quite differently in long battles, but let's be honest, for the most part, the game focuses on short battles. So these are your, your master and heroic and, and epic difficulties, as well as some of the uh, small quests that they put in here and there. Now, when it comes to a really long battle, She-Hulk is gonna win out. But on these short battles, you can see she really puts out a lot of damage very quickly. So I'm at three Furies right now. I'm probably gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna lose that one, throw another heavy. Didn't hold it long enough, but okay, so my Furies are out, but that's okay. They come back quite quickly. Back to two, hold that heavy. All right, and this battle is just about over. So with the synergy with the new Captain Marvel, I'm also doing armor breaks on the opponent, which really just trashes them quickly. So you can see that this fight was, again, quite a bit quicker actually than the updated She-Hulk. So is Kamala Khan really that bad? No. Is She-Hulk good? Yes. She's very good and you should rank her up. But comparatively speaking, they're actually both pretty good. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this review. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.